We're telling people up front, this is a very big deal. The sheer magnitude of the L train shutdown is being acknowledged. This is unprecedented. No one understands how bad this is going to be when it happens. It's like your only bridge to the mainland got cut. This line was really damaged by Sandy. There was real work that has to be done. It's not going to be quick. It's going to take 15 months. It's a disaster for moms taking their kids to school, for commuters trying to get to work. I don't know if they're concerned about families. The businesses in this community, the residents of this community, are all hanging in the balance. Shut down the shutdown! Shut down the shutdown! How dare you do this to us? We are people! We have to do this work. We have to bite the bullet. It's something we have to do. We don't have a choice. That tunnel has to close. I, Andrew Mark Cuomo, will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of governor New of York. the great state of New York. So, so help, help me God. <laughs> I asked a panel of the best experts we could find to come look at the L train situation. Long story short, it would not be necessary to close the tunnel at all. They convinced us that this was absolutely essential. A hundred days before they plan to begin the work, they're telling us it's not necessary. We've given you years. Now it's become a public trust issue. This is just another complete disaster. Everybody ready? We are not empty suits. The current state of the decline is wholly unacceptable. The L train is a perfect example. The L train issue goes to the heart of all the problems. You have aging infrastructure, lack of maintenance, the rising specter of climate change, and political tensions over who's responsible for fixing it, who's responsible for paying for it. Our strap hangers want the problem solved right now. The New York City subway system is an achievement, but its decline is very much a symptom of where we got as a society and as a country. On transit, the U.S. scores a D minus. The nation right now is looking at crumbling roads and airports and railroads. The World Economic Forum ranks America 16th in the world. Travelers still don't have one option used to run the world for nearly half a century. High speed rail. American public transportation is under attack because there are hidden forces around the country that want you in your car. 